Hello everybody and welcome back to today's One Punch Man the Strongest video. Today I'm going over SSR Plus Gary Uganshu and his core, so let's get right into it. Attack skills, basic attack, deals 100% attack, 120% attack damage to a single target, and his ultimate attack, which attacks all enemies with 5 consecutive strikes for 120 or 150% of attack, grants specialized berserk to all allies in the same row or all allies, and first strike will also deal berserk damage by 200% of Gary Uganshoop's attack, with a chance of crit. Consumes 150 energy gauge every time when one enemy takes berserk damage, with, which lasts one round. And berserk does not cost any energy with the keepsake, which is a very good thing to stress, as just, you, I mean, it's good to note, is what I'm trying to say. Passive abilities. When battle begins, reduces attack of all hero enemies, or all enemies, by 30% or 40% for one or two rounds. Grants 35, 45, or 50% injury damage free starting from round 2. Now, a good thing to note with injury damage free is that it also reduces charge damage, so it does make, uh, you are, no, not you are, fuck, <laughs> It does make you uh, SSR Plus Metal Bat a little less strong. However, it's not like it really matters since he's kind of countered anyway by Gary Plus Core. Core passive slash abilities. And basic core is one grappler and two espers. Ba gain three energy per round. Gain one energy once or twice per round if support launches follow up. Which means a support like Psychos Plus, Goketsu Plus... Tank Top Master Plus, one character that you guys do know, like King Plus or Boros Plus. Those are good characters to note. Also, CE Plus, I forgot about that character too. They will all do that sort of thing with the support, and that is what that is. Awakened, van Awakened Advanced Core. When an ally takes fatal damage, triggers specialized unyielding. Ignores all incoming damage, replaces unyielding, will not... <laughs> will not... It will not be affected by unyielding ignoration. Up to two, three, two, or three uh, turn or action. No, three times. There we go. Effect disappears after four characters act. Recovers HP by 100%, 60%, or for the rest, 100% of max HP. After every specialized unyielding trigger, deals 150 or 80% attack as bonus damage to three random enemies. Now this core is really good as it completely counters you are or not you are fucking a. <laughs> it completely counters SSR plus Metal Bat and even buffs like character and is mildly debuffed by Atomic Samurai plus and you know just makes your team overall survivability a lot longer. So it's just good to note because. Level 4 core and level 17 core are the two best ones because they give you the three unyielding chances as it shows right here. So remember to stick on either unyielding or level 4 core or if you're a whale, I guess you could go to level 17 if you have the money and the time to do that, which don't. It's not worth it. Next up is recommended gears. Now, gear sets and builds generally just go for the most berserk damage, which is just a monk or machine set with attack, attack, percent. If you can't get a set, you can just just put on random attack, attack, percent gears. Those are completely fine and even recommended. Just don't put stars into him because he does not need that. Hypothetical lineups. Well, he's a core character, so just use two espers and two grapplers and you will be completely fine with him in your team. It just... Keep that in mind. You do get Boros for free, so that's the two Espers finished, which is Garyu and then Boros. And then Grapplers could be like Carnage or maybe even Tank Top Master, depending on who you get. <clears throat> if you're a new care, if you're a new player, by the way. AoE plus Berserk Attacker grants row slash whole team specialized Berserk and can crit. This is also a free Berserk every once in a while. Free Ultimate Attack when he has a Keepsake. Uh, ultimate Damage or not Ultimate Damage. Berserk Damage is also free. But his ultimate as uh, as no keepsake and with keepsake is a free ultimate, so it does not require energy to use, which is very nice. Newest villain core, another will not be coming to the game for another year and a half, so get him while you can. If you cannot get him, then it really sucks to be you, and honestly, I'd, 
I'd honestly quit the game and then re-roll your account a couple times until you get, like, oh, Gary, you plus Awakening Stone. I'd say that's probably worth it. Core gives resistance to charge and injury damage using that injury damage free. Now, this is good, again, good because of, say, future characters or current characters, like SSR plus Metal Bat and Silver Fang Plus both do charge or injury damage, which is debuffed by Gary plus Core, along with, say, a future character like UR Siryu, who does internal injury damage, is also lightly lowered by Gary plus Core. Issues. He isn't a DPS character, but is okay for support. If you're a new player, do not re rely on him for your damage. That is not a good idea, and he will not do that much. He's currently on the rerun banner, although that is completely fine. Just make sure to get him if you do not have him already. A good few grapplers might be hard to find, along with espers. Uh, maybe espers would be a little easier if you're new, but if you're into the game a bit, then I don't see that being quite an issue. But it's just something I need to say, as newer players that may be watching this will might have a hard time. Overall, he's the best core in the game as of right now, and the newest. He will be the best core for another s 8 months, so just make sure to get him or else you will suffer for the next 8 months. <laughs> and that, uh, great buffs and completely counters Metal Bat, SSR+. Plus. I mean, kinda. For PvP, he completely counter he's completely countered. Simply because it targets the one with the lowest HP and specialized unyielding, like the while he while your characters are down, does count to having the lowest amount of HP, which makes Metal Bat Metal Bat SSR Plus a little less useful. However, the stun immunity is definitely still very useful, so not completely counter, but does help. But does help deal with Metal Bat. Investment isn't needed as he has a core, so you don't need to put like a bunch of Star Century cards into him, and I even recommend not to do that. Put them onto like Boros if you're new, or onto a better DPS character if you are not. Berserk is a pretty nice, but needs Keepsake to not be a burden. Now, this is because it costs 150 energy points, which is your little energy bar, for every enemy hit with Berserk, so if you're using AoE characters, it will suck to be you as you will not be able to have any energy restoration in the slightest. Should you pull? If you're free to play, 100% pull him. He's a core and needed. Low spender, definitely pull him. And if you can get his keepsake, then definitely do that. Pay to win players, definitely get him. If you do not have him already, definitely get his keepsake as it will give you a leg up in a lot of like PVE modes, kind of. And Awakening 2, get them if you have a character or plan to get a character like Oketsu Plus or Boros Plus or CE Plus or King Plus. Definitely get him if you get, definitely get Awakening 2 if you can, if you have those characters or else Awakening 2 is just kind of worthless. Anyway, that will wrap up today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I do have my Discord linked in the description along with support links for my Southeast Asia account and for my Patreon if you would like to join that, although it does have a free tier if you would like to just like give me support by just being there, I guess. And yeah, you should, you should join my Discord. That is a necessity. Now, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!